Today, we are going to learn how to add a paint sprayer to a pole pruner. This is a fiberglass pole, so we will use zip ties and tape, which you can remove later should you choose. Here are the materials you will need for the project. Measure and mark four inches from the collar. First, we will secure the hinge and then attach the clamp. Attach the hinge to the pole using three zip ties. Make sure to tighten the ties down well and place the fastening ends on the back of the pole to be out of the way of the spray paint can. Once attached, trim the zip tie ends and then wrap duct tape around the pole to secure the hinge and cover over the zip ties. Make sure your spray paint can can be slipped into the clamp. The clamp will be at the four inch mark we marked earlier at the bottom of the hinge. Open up the hinge to get it out of the way. This zip tie is just a tad thicker than the slots. If this happens to you, use a flathead screwdriver to bend the slot open just enough to slip the zip tie through. You can use one or two zip ties to secure the clamp. Trim the zip tie ends. Align the hinge and clamp and then tape to secure the unit. Slip in the spray paint can and determine how far down the hinge will need to go down. Use a screwdriver to tighten the clamp onto the can, making sure the nozzle will be spraying out. The clamp will need to be tight enough to make sure the can does not slip out. Now thread your string through the top hole of the hinge. Make sure you have enough slack to run the length of the pole. This pole can attach to a second pruning pole, so rather than making the string twice as long, you can make a knot to tie a future string onto the bottom should one be needed. Tie a simple knot on the string to attach it to the hinge. Here is an example of the knot on the lower end in case you need to extend the pole in the future. Now we are going to demonstrate our pole pruner with our paint sprayer in action. Attach the head to the pole. You will have a rope for cutting and one for painting. We will be trimming a co-dominant stem on this oak. The stem on the right is the true leader and the stem on the left will be removed to reduce competition with the main stem. Get as close to the tree trunk as possible and make sure your cut is just outside the branch collar. Wear a hard hat when pruning to protect your head. Before moving on to painting the pruning cut, you may want to remove the pole pruner to make spraying easier. Pull the sprayer string to apply paint onto the pruning cut. If the hinge is too tight, the can will continue to spray. To find more information on oak wilt and when it is best to prune, visit Texas Oak wilt.org.